Okay, in this video we're going to look at this device here. It's a little infrared detector. Now this circuit runs on 9 volts. There's my power switch there to activate the circuit. On the front it has an infrared phototransistor. And on the top it has a standard LED indicator. So what I use this for basically is to test TV remotes, stereo remotes. So basically you just power up the circuit pressing and holding the button and activating a few buttons on the remote and you can see there that it's transmitting infrared data. Now another way to test these remotes, a little hack, if you point the remote at the camera and press a few buttons you can see there that the camera sensor is actually sensitive to infrared light and you can actually pick that up with the camera. A simple circuit like this can be used. So it's basically an infrared phototransistor. And there's your standard indicator LED and a 470 ohm current limiting resistor and you can run it on 9 volts. Now this will work the same as my little detector here but if you're in a, if you're in a room with strong sunlight this thing will actually be activated by the infrared in the sunlight. So you'd have to go into a dark room for this circuit to work. Now my circuit here that I'm using in this box, uh, it ignores infrared signals like from sunlight or any external sources like say from the lighting in your house. It'll only detect signals coming from from the remote. Now like like me, you probably have a few of these on your coffee table and when they go bad basically you check the batteries Sometimes there's corrosion in there, you check that the batteries are dead. Uh, sometimes the, the conductive membrane, keyboard membrane, go, gets worn. But there's really no way to testing if there's any infrared signal coming out of the device itself unless you have a detector. So we'll get into the schematic of this little detector. Okay, here's a schematic diagram of our infrared detector. Now the heart of the circuit is the CA3140 op amp. And as you can see, it's in open loop configuration. There's no feedback resistors from the output to input, so it's in comparator mode. So basically it's a voltage comparator. Uh, if we look at other components, we can see our 9 volt battery, which powers the circuit. You can see our push button switch, our LED indicator, which is driven by an NPN transistor, a 2N3904. And to the left, you can see the photo transistor, the infrared photo transistor. Now, when the push button is pressed and held to energize the circuit, the circuit will calibrate itself to the room's ambient infrared light level and set a baseline. Now, the amount of infrared light will determine the resistance across that photo transistor and will get a voltage divider from the 100K and the resistance of the photo transistor. Now, this voltage is fed into pin 2 and there's a diode across pin 2 and pin 3 so pin 2 will always be higher by 0.6 volts than pin 3 so the output will be low and the transistor will be off. That could, the 1 microfarad capacitor will charge up to, to the, about the same voltage as pin 2 minus 0.6 volts and that will be the steady state, uh, quiescent state of the circuit. Now when there's a sudden pulse of infrared light hitting a transistor uh, the resistance will drop and the voltage on pin 2 will drop below th the voltage on pin 3 and the output of the comparator will go high and the LED will go on. So now the diode is reverse biased so it's basically out of the circuit and the one, cap one microfarad capacitor will start bleeding out through the 56k resistor start dropping down. By this time the pulse from the remote will stop and pin 2 will go high again, higher than pin 3 and the output of, pin, output of uh, the op amp will go low and the LED will turn off. So basically only pulses of infrared light will actually activate the status LED. So any ambient light, any steady state infrared light will not affect the circuit. Only pulses which is coming out of the, of the remotes. So that's how it determines the difference between ambient infrared light and the pulses from the remotes. So here's the inside view of the little infrared detector. There's our 9 volt battery. 
and a push button switch and here's a little LED indicator and most of the circuit is built on a little perf board you can see the op amp there the C3140 and the rest of the components and there's a little infrared detector phototransistor so it's basically straightforward I just built it on this perf board I uh, installed it in this little, little uh, enclosure and that's basically it okay I'll just demonstrate how the circuit calibrates itself to the room's ambient infrared light level and sets a baseline and it, it only reacts to fast moving infrared light levels if I put my finger over the phototransistor and energize the circuit so now it's calibrated to almost no infrared light because I'm covering it with my finger and if I take my finger away quickly you can see the light came on and then it recalibrated itself to the ambient light and it went out again so that's how it reacts to a fast uh, a fast pulse of infrared light also it has a little built-in battery check if you press down the button and then release it you can see the little LED flashes that indicates that your battery is is okay